Showtime Sean Porter says he's bringing everything versus Errol Spence Jr. He's going to be 100% in his fight. And he's even going to tap into that old school Sean Porter style. Woo-hoo, I can't wait. Showtime Sean Porter confirms that Errol Spence Jr. fight is done. He's looking to bring that heat. He says he's going to uh, tap into that old school style. He's bringing 100%. And uh, I'm hyped for this fight, man. I want to talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, Gym Boxing Family. All the new subscribers, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel, man. I hope you guys stay. Um, but to, if you're new to the channel, man, it's your first time. I invite you to subscribe right now. You know what I'm saying? That way you won't miss no videos, man. But anyway, I am so hype. I cannot explain how hype I am for this Errol Spence Jr. versus Showtime Sean Porter fight. Um, this probably has to be the most excited I've been about a fight in a very long time. Mainly because these are my two favorite fighters about to fight each other. And I'm super hype, man. This fight is not going to be easy for either fighter. Um, Sean Porter, he's talking a good game right now. He's saying that he's going to come with 100%. He's going to he's going to be pressuring. He's going to he's going to bring everything he got in his toolbox against Errol Spence Jr. And and the, and the crazy part about it is that is is as good as that may sound, that just very well might not be enough, man, because Errol Spence Jr. is one of the best 147 pounders that you can find out there in the game right now. Some people feel that there are some questions about Errol Spence that need to be answered. But I got to tell you, man, from what I've seen from Errol Spence over the years, I'm extremely impressed, man. And I, I mean, he's shown some of the best stuff that I can see in the ring, man. It's from, the, from his cutting off the ring abilities to his good jab, activity rig, his, his power, cumulative knockout power. I mean, uh, Errol Spence Jr., in my personal opinion, he's one of the toughest guys that you that you want to go against, man. And it's kind of understandable how a lot of people has been avoiding him, but you got to give big ups and, and respect to Showtime Sean Porter for stepping into the ring. Um, I mean, Sean Porter is always exciting, man. That's why I like him. I like his personality. I think he's a good person. Um, you know, he, he got a good a good corner. And you know, every time Sean Porter comes out, man, he's gonna he's gonna come to fight. You don't have to worry whether or not he's gonna be BSing, taking rounds off, making excuses. Sean Porter, every time out, he's coming to fight. And I think that's why this is gonna be a blockbuster type fight. This is gonna be one to remember for the ages, man. And you know, one of the things he said, and you know, I was watching on Mayweather Boxing Channel. Um you know, with Jeff Mayweather when, when he goes around and he just did a video about predictions about this fight. And one of the people that he asked was Sean Porter. You know, I guess this was supposed to be him asking the pros who's going to win. And Sean Porter definitely obviously picked himself, right? Obviously. Um, but he made it very, very clear. And he was he he was making it very clear that he's coming to win this fight. He's like, oh, I already predicted, you know, Sean Porter is going to beat Errol Spence. So he's more than confident in his ability to come into this uh, fight with a win. And I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, his corner, you know, his his, his dad, is, which is his trainer, uh, Kenny Porter. I think, you know, they've been training for a while now for this fight. And I think they're drawing up something to, to really give Errol Spence Jr. some problems, man. So uh, a lot of people that follow Jim Boxing, uh, obviously the majority of people pick Errol Spence Jr. to win this fight as they did in that in that uh, video that Jeff Mayweather did. But um, although I believe Errol Spence should come out victorious because I think he has all the physical advantages, he's uh, bigger, stronger, um, maybe stronger. I mean, you know, Sean Porter is one of the best athletes out here that we have in, in, in or around his division. But um, Errol Spence Jr., to me, the way his fighting style is with his ability to box, um, you know, with his ability to cut off the ring, his activity rate, how Errol Spence just get better as the fight goes on. It's going to be a hell of a tough night for Sean Porter, man. But, you know, I'm just that excited about this fight. And I know a lot of people like to say, oh, you know, you know, you need to pick a side and stop trying to be on the fence and all that. I'm going to tell you straight up, you know, kiss my ass. You know what I'm saying? Because both of these fighters, in my personal opinion, are world-class champions. They both deserve respect. I'm, ex I'm extremely 
uh, happy that this fight got made because you know there was a lot of hiccups going on in the, in, with with the whole uh, w when the fight was going to take place or whether it was going to be pay per view or not. Um, but I'm just so excited for this fight, and I'm every single chance I get, I'm going to do a video about this fight. Um, just talking about it, you know, what's new about it, um, and just all the way leading up to the fight, man. And, I mean, I'm just so excited for it, you know what I'm saying? And to hear Sean Porter's confidence, to hear how he believes without a shadow of a doubt that he's going to come in here and win this fight, to me, is uh, it, it just makes for a very good uh, build up to this fight. I mean, I can't wait for everything surrounding this fight from the fight week way in the pbc face to face um just all you know the, the press tour that they're supposed to be doing i'm hearing that they're gonna do probably a two city press tour most likely okay so i just can't wait to see how kenny porter Derek james and, and just you know both of their sides just do because they have a lot of history together you know what i'm saying and both of these fighters they've sparred each other uh, both of their camps know each other. I, I know uh, when Errol Spence was in the amateurs, I think that was when he sparred uh, Sean Porter, when Sean Porter was a pro. So um, there's a lot of a, a lot of uh, history brewing between these two camps, man. So like I said, it's going to be an excellent fight, man. You know, make sure y'all let me know down in the comment section who you picking. I want to hear your picks right now. Um, and we're going to get your picks all the way up until the fight happen, man. But like I said, Sean Porter... What he would have to do in order to, to really stand a chance against Errol Spence. And I think he understands this as well. He's going to have to bring it all versus Errol Spence. A lot of people, you know, hated Sean Porter's old style, but they respected it because it was aggressive. It was very uncomfortable for fighters. It made them uh, very, very uncomfortable. You know, he pressed you up against the ropes and, and coming in hard with those uh, with, with his head down low, you know, bobbing and weaving and. And uh, that peekaboo style like Mike Tyson, man. So, you know, he just makes it tough on his opponents, man. But when he started to really, you know, start transforming his game, showing other showing other aspects as far as his boxing ability, I think it made a question mark go up in a lot of people's head. Is that a good idea for him to do? Um, but in my personal opinion, I think every single thing that Sean Porter has in his arsenal, whether it be the rough and rugged style, whether it be the outboxing style, whether it be, um, you know, his ability to take a punch, uh, you know, his ability to, you know, use his footwork to get on the inside. I think every single thing that Sean Porter has, he's going to have to bring it against Errol Spence because Errol Spence Jr., I know without a shadow of a doubt, he said he was going back to bulldozing ninjas. Okay, so he's not coming in here to play with Sean Porter. He's coming in here to press the action he's coming in here to press sean porter back he's coming to hurt sean porter to the body he's coming to you know keep sean porter at the end of that jab where he can work you know what i'm saying he's gonna work off that jab he's gonna you know block punches on the gloves he's not gonna let sean porter do nothing sean porter want to do he's gonna cut the ring off make it extremely uh small ring for, for Sean Porter, I mean, all of these things is what what I believe Errol Spence is going to do in this fight and why, obviously, if you're going to put your money on anybody in this fight, it's, it's safe to put it on Errol Spence, man. But like I said before, I just got too much respect for both of these fighters. I think both of these guys deserve their respect. Sean Porter obviously has, in my opinion, a better resume than Errol Spence. Um, he, you know, he's been pro longer. And he's fought, you know, better, bigger names. Um, but... I mean, he's probably got the, you know, one of the most active type, uh, best type resumes at the division, in my personal opinion. Some might say Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman, you know, is undefeated and he beat the two top guys like Danny Garcia and Sean Porter, which I thought was a close fight. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, both of these champions deserve respect. Both of them deserve their shot at winning this fight. If you say that Sean Porter is going to beat Errol Spence, you have to tell me why. If you say Errol Spence is going to bulldoze Sean Porter, you got to tell me why. I don't want to just hear this fan stuff. Just, oh, he's just going to bulldoze him. Like, nah, bro. I want to hear, you know, I want to hear the ins and outs of how this fight is going to be breaking down. Shout out to the homie Sir Geechee. Shout out to the homie Mike Finelli. Um, and, and much more of you, you brothers out there that know what you're talking about. Because I know they're going to they gonna let me know ASAP what they're thinking. And they're going to break it down. They're not going to come with the BS uh, fanboy, what, what people like to call fanboy stuff. They're going to tell me why. They're going to say because of counterpunching ability, because of footwork, because of head movement. They're going to tell me all of the things that make sense about who's going to win and why, man. And they're not just going to come with the BS, man. So, anyway... 
you know, I'm excited for this fight. This is one I'm going to try and get to, man. I'm, I'm going to start stacking my, you know, getting my paper right right now so I can plan for this trip. As um, soon as tickets go on sale, I'm trying to jump on them, man. So, um, like I said before, let me know in the comment section who wins this fight. Errol Spence versus Sean Porter. Um, I can't wait. Whoo, I can't wait. So, y'all smash the like button. Much love, peace, blessings to all the brothers and sisters out there. All the elders, the old school women and uh, women and men. Appreciate you guys for always holding it down in my channel as well. Um, but that's all I got, man. So, it's going down. Sean Porter, Errol Spence, uh, Fox Pay-Per-View. I'm not sure exactly where yet. I think I'm hearing something like the Barclays, but I, that could be still up for debate, up for change. Um, no date as of this video is dropping. Um, but anyway, that's all I got, man. So I'm about to go ahead and eat this food, and, uh, and I'll be out, man. So much love, peace, and blessings. Peace.